Okay, I got a quick little shout out here to the Magic Specter Fox Charmer Field Center. This is going to be available, or uh, will be shipping in late June 2022. Pre sale is up and ready to go for it. And when they are sold out, that is it. I'll leave a link down below in the description so you can pick yours up today. Let's dig into the thing you guys come to all know and love called Market Watch, shall we? I'm back 30% of you guys and not smash the crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can get to 106,000. Oh boy. I just wanted to quickly look through Blackwing stuff here because there's a lot of things turning on the market. New Blackwing support means that uh, people are going crazy. We already knew that Sirocco got bought out for Turbo Pack. I'm just glad to see that 7771 is a little bit cheaper. Oh god. I'm just here to kind of look at quantities and things. The German Qualuts, five bucks for mod plays. Veyus, we've seen that these have been ridiculous for how long at this point? Like, ugh. Blizzard is $15. Bora, pff, love damaged copies here, but market price is 18 bucks. As you can see, like, all of your former Blackwing cards, like, mod plays are $14. It's ridiculous to me just what's available right now on the market in terms of this stuff. $15 for the ultra quality. So let's pick up German copies. <laughs> it's the exact same thing in my opinion. Yeah, two pages in, it's bad. Now on the other side of the equation here, Blackwing Dragon, mm -mm -mm, grade A ghost rare here. Damage for $62 sold. Near Mint sold for $179. Get a mod play on them for $60 ish. All right. Light play for 83. Uh, first Ed's what it's going to cost you as per usual. Yeah, you see 160 and then 180 for near mint. All right, so the market is still being the market in terms of these, um, you know, $30 for an ulti on them. That's not bad. That's actually really good. You can get an Ultra Shining Darkness mod play for $2. Get the tin version. Hold on. Wait, what? Okay, so the tin version is basically four bucks. All right. I also see down here that the Advent Calendar 2011 is just bought out. That's an interesting one to go buy out. All right, cool. Well, um, yeah, you got plenty of copies available of these on the market. It just depends on whichever version that you want to mess around with to, for your collecting purposes. Huh. You know, I remember back in my day when Jasmine was cheap. She wasn't expensive. She was a $2 card and nobody batted an eye at her. Now you're looking at $10 per copy of these things. Oh, man. I, I don't know what to say, man. Plant support is a very, very real thing. Speaking of plant support, <laughs> the lie of the trees, $10. Ah, $5 for Megaton versions. And guess what? Short listings on all of them. There, it, there was a really weird list that showed up in Japan a while back that was playing um, these two particular cards. Um, this and, you know, Jasmine, obviously. And there's some little interaction points you can do with this. I'm not exactly too sure, like, how it will adapt here, if we'll see it, but it is something that we did see with Thurions. Uh, speaking of things that are hilarious... Y'all yeah, remember when Copernicus was expensive? Ah, uh, yes. How the Mighty Have Fallen. I love how the structured at Commons still $2. Well, actually, excuse me, basically $3 at this point. While, you know, Thomas, the, the reprint engine down here is like $0.35. Cents. Yeah, I'll just pick up my copies of these and just be on my way. Magical Android from Dual Terminal. Okay, well, every single time something happens, it's always usually a Dual Terminal buyout. Let's just call it what it is at this point in time. There is, like, no real calming method to go about this. Like, I, I don't understand, like, when this will effectively calm down. But for whatever reason, continuously Dual Terminal stuff, collectability, I guess, continues to be destroyed off of the market. Seven bucks right now for these. All right. Ultra, you can get an Italian. Uh, this is Ultra Rare? Hmm, for 10. A lot more money than I'd want to spend. You know, all magical androids are actually worth the money. That's a sad day. Guardian Chimera. Hey, they're under $60. I'm glad to. 54, 54, 53. For the last listings for these. Yeah, we've pushed back under. Yo, Chimera, good job. You know, I remember when this card was about to be $60. Um, if you're somebody that's been holding back on Chimeras, obviously, like, ban list speculation in place right now. A lot of people are like, I don't know if I want to pick these up right now. 
I mean, it is what it is, but this is what we're definitely looking at right now. Rockaway. Why? Why does this always get brought up? Why? Why? Damage sold for a dollar. Who bought a damaged one for a dollar? And three dollars for the upward spin of these. Huh. There are plenty, plenty of copies in between here for like three to four bucks. Damage and get a light play there for three. Another light play for four. Hmm. I guess the near mints on these five dollars still for light play. Now oh, we hit the near mint about the six dollar mark. Sure. I don't consider that anything too crazy. Uh, Vessel of the Dragon Cycle. There's been uh, some interesting OTS like buyouts or just people wanting to pick up hollow versions of the cards right now and i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing we will you will continuously see in terms of the market that people will want to pick up their nicer versions of the cards yeah that that continuously happens um sword soul's definitely been one of those decks that has maintained a very nice presence for a long time in the competitive world and now that vessel's available in a nice hollow upgrade i mean Sure, 14 listings. I mean, you have Portuguese and you can buy Italian copies here. So you definitely have versions available if you're like me and you enjoy foreign copies. All right. Uh, Maxi, oh no. Why? Nine listings on the Altis again. Somebody paid $778 yesterday for one copy. Come on, market. This is ridiculous, man. That is disgusting to me. I'm glad to see we have secrets back on the market. That's good. Secrets have the most listings. That's a sad, interesting, fun fact. Cool. All right. Masquerade. You know, I came here for Masquerade. Guess what? They're not $40 anymore. These actually push down. That's good to see. Oh my god, that is very good to see. This card had no business trying to be a $40 Ultra. Like, yeah, I understand that Konami should have definitely reprinted this, but that was so ridiculous. Fortress Rails. Huh, Speed Duel versions. Hmm, $88. This is the discount cheap version. Uh, Scars of Battle. Common 70 cents. Oh, me TP. Me TP uh, expensive whale. Ah, oh, $400 for German light play. Oh, 500 for English light play. 800 there she is so much money that's ridiculous miracle ruptures why are we going up here what's going on here where are these ten dollars i i get that we just got like all the cool new stuff for this deck but like this shouldn't be this expensive you know same thing here with uh time stream time stream shouldn't be money either once again i understand like people want to play like the new stuff but when these are actually selling at the new established price tag. Just, they're six dollars. Like people are pushing this card back under. People are like, no, nah, I want to make money on this. Like, give me give me my chicken tendies where I can get them. And I, I that's a good thing. But like I said, this card shouldn't be anywhere near the crazy price it was. Hmm. Yeah, you know, $75 for this also doesn't surprise me at all. Alright, $75. Pax is $61, and then $40 on Sophia's. Hmm. That's so expensive. Lifestream Dragons, oh my god. How much is an Alti First Ed Lifestream going to run you these days? I see 18 bucks. Wow, this poor card sucks still in price. Jesus, 34 Near Mint for 55 All right, well, they're affordable, I guess. Mod play is not a bad thing. 7 bucks. Okay. Uh, what else we got back here? Win is officially $1,700. <laughs> uh, wow. I can't believe it's just that high now. That's so ridiculous. Pray to plant Camaraflasia. What are we doing here? Why? Why are you being an $11 card right now, Camaraflasia? Can you just calm down? Like, this card is one of those cards that, once again, has no business being as terminally insane as it is on the market. But all right. And then... Just a look at Dimension Force. $500 on the Ghost Bells. Yeah, they're actually selling. Who would have guessed, I guess? Beyond the Pendulum's 48s, Illegal Knights 40s, Thurion Lilies 35s, Regulus is down to 45, Albas are 40s, and Psychic Imp Punishers are 20s. Alright. 
it's gotten a lot better since when we last looked at this, thankfully. Pre-sales in this set are pretty interesting, I will say that. Well, uh, that is where your market stands today. Please, leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys smash the little crap button. Let's subscribe button. So you guys don't miss out more awesome content. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace. Patrons, thank you. Uh. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.